Hello, today I'm doing something a little bit different for a review. It's a different type of product than I usually review, though it is 100% pure Lego. And I'm doing it from a different space. This is where I usually do my live streaming over at twitch.tv slash it's the Jang. The link is in the video description, of course. But I'm recording this completely live with all my normal streaming setup, just not going out to the world, instead coming just to you. This is one of those Target exclusive Tar uh, Lego by Target collaboration things that they did. One of the ones that I personally was especially looking forward to. This product is called Snow and Sand Building Kit, and it is uh, it is a it is a toy set of super size. This is gonna be my first time personally looking at this stuff up close in person. Super sized Lego toys for play in sand and snow like the name suggests so <laughs> what exactly is all this stuff this this is supposed to be this definitely is supposed to be able to open up more there we go comes in this netting uh, i believe this is already sold out i think it's sold out on on day one but uh, get in there it's, it's got some tape wrapping around it these look like they are just regular uh, boxes like storage boxes I don't know. I had to get it for a very specific reason. I'll show you that specific reason in a moment. First, oh, these are not simply storage boxes. I get it. Check this out. So it's got the it's got the brick pattern on top, and it's got these handles on the sides, and then it's got this. So there are two things you can do with this. Number one, you can use it as a mold. Number two, you can use it just as is. You know, and just stack things on top of it like this as a, as a starter. Number three, you can just transport like water and sand or wet sand. You know, if you're if you're playing on, on a beach, for example, you can transport some water in this or transport your water in this and transport wet sand in this. But neither of these are the reasons that I personally bought this set. And neither of these are the reasons that I had any interest in this set. No, for that... You have to check this out. There's a flag, huh? Well, a flag pole. We'll check, check, check out the size of this. That's what it's all about, right there. This represents a Lego normal flag piece with, uh, on an antenna on a two by two dish, but it's super sized. <laughs> yes. It's super sized Lego. Now, is this compatible with anything? It doesn't really have an anti stud under there. So it's really not designed to be part of a system, was it? Unlike their storage boxes, like the storage boxes that I got back here, presently being used just for decoration, but I use some of them for actual storage as well. But this is the piece de resistance. This is what I really wanted. And I am so glad that it is actually a little bit larger than I thought it would be. It's an official licensed 2021 Lego shovel for huge figures like us. I mean, of course, it's it's for kids, but uh, I mean, I guess I'm just a big kid inside. After all, this is definitely large. And look, I can grab this with two hands and it feels strong. It's got some stiffness to it, some thickness to it. Yeah, this is the, the end isn't even as flexible as uh oh uh oh wait 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 you you heard that right you heard that there's a joint there's a there's a seam go ah I see it right now I see it right now uh, there's a there's a seam going through this thing it's actually welded down that seam and just a little bit of that uh, came came loose uh, I can see it where is it separated it a little bit but that's that little cracking sound that i heard but otherwise i mean the, the plastic itself is rather thick this feels like it can really be <clears throat> can really be treated rough so that is really the main thing that i cared about and this cost 30 dollars uh us again got it from from target target.com they also had them at in limited quantities at physical stores i don't know if they if they've distributed these uh, under other brands or with other retail partners in other parts of the world and then it has the the carrying case which still has some various tags and things on it but this actually has a a semi-hard base to it as well so it's not just a net that it's in so this is something that's actually reusable but this is pretty cool 
These I personally don't have a use for. Uh, I really got this just to get these large scale <laughs> Lego implements. Uh, $30 US is definitely too much to pay for these two pieces of plastic. It's a little bit much to pay for all of these pieces of plastic put together, including the very, very cheap and almost disposable carrying case. But I'm not mad about it. Uh, I'm just happy that the shovel is big. Now, I will show you another one of these. They did two sets, and the other one might be a little bit more interesting to more of you. And they don't waste as many parts on this type of stuff. So stay tuned for that video, which is coming up very soon. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think about this product, <laughs> this very weird product in the comments. And I'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> Bye for now.